even if the output x is zero the total cost will be bear by that company that means it is a cost which a company has to bear when the output x is zero what is revenue function the total revenue function is given by p into x where p is the price per unit and x is the number of unit here what is given r of x is given and c of x is nothing but 5x plus 7000 so the profit function is nothing but rx minus c of x that is revenue function minus cost function Hello dear students, welcome to this session of uh, basic mathematics class. I am Mr. Niranjan, faculty department of mathematics with Ashram PU College, the temple of excellence. Today in this session, I am going to take very, very important and easiest chapter that is linear functions. So this is very important and easiest chapter. Now let us know regarding what is this linear function and what are the uses of these linear functions. Now, so a linear function is nothing but a function of the form ax plus b that is a linear function is defined as y is equal to f of x. What is that y is equal to f of x is represented as ax plus b. Any equation of the form ax plus b is equal to 0 is called a linear function. a and b are the constants which belongs to any real number. It is called linear because the graph of such a function is a straight line where A is called the slope of the line and B is called the intercept, B is called the intercept. Usually, we are going to represent this as Y is equal to MX plus C instead of Y is equal to AX plus B. If you are represent the line as Y is equal to MX plus C, you might have been studied in your previous class, Y is equal to MX plus C is nothing but a straight line where M is called the slope and C is called the intercept. So, that means any equation of the form, this is x axis and y axis, this is a line. So, where this can also be represented as y is equal to mx plus c or it can also be written as ax plus b. This is called a straight line. Suppose if y is equal to mx, there is no value of c means then a straight line which passes through the origin. So, y is equal to mx. So, that means here where A is called the slope and B is called the intercept, B is called the intercept of the given line. So this is how we are going to represent a linear function. Now here let us know regarding some few definitions like a cost function and the total fixed set cost. What is the cost function denoted as C of x? So C of x is nothing but the function Ax plus B. C of x is equal to x plus b where C of x denotes the total cost, x denotes the number of unit, this x will denote the number of unit. So the total cost of a product can be split up into two components as total fixed cost and the total variable cost. Here that is a product, the total cost of a product, here the total cost of a product can be split up into two components that is called a total fixed cost and the total variable cost. So therefore, here the total cost is nothing but Ax plus B can be written as total fixed cost plus total variable cost that is Ax plus B. So C of X is equal to Ax plus B means total fixed cost plus total variable cost. Here let us know regarding what is meant by this uh, total fixed cost and total variable cost. Now what is total fixed cost here? It is the cost, it is the cost which a company has to bear where even when the output x is 0, even if the output x is 0, the total cost will be bear by that company. That means it is the cost which a company has to bear when the output x is 0. For example, rent, rent is the best example for a total fixed cost. Now, the total variable cost, what is meant by total variable cost? Total variable cost means it varies with the output of x, that is for example labor cost, labor cost is an example for a total variable cost and total fixed cost is rent. Now move on to the next concept that is revenue function denoted as R of x. What is revenue function? The total revenue function is given by P into x where P 
P is the price per unit and X is the number of unit. So, R of X is equal to P into X, R of X is equal to P into X, where P is the price per unit, X is the number of unit. That is called the revenue function. Now, profit function, P of X, R of X is called the revenue function, P of X is called as the profit function. The profit function is nothing but the difference between P of X is equal to difference between R X and C of X. What is R X? R X is nothing but the revenue function. What is C of X? Cost function. The difference between the cost function and the revenue function will give the profit function. So, P of X is equal to R of X minus C of X that is revenue function minus cost function. Now, what is break even point? This is an important question that may ask for one more. Define break even point B E F. B E F is nothing but break even point. It is a point at which the company neither experience profit nor loss. B E F. It is a point at which a company neither experiences the profit nor experiences the loss. Here P of X is equal to 0. Profit function is equal to 0. So at E at B F break even point. R of x is equal to C of x because if P of x is equal to 0 means 0 is equal to Rx minus Cx, interchange that Rx is equal to Cx. So, at break even point R of x is equal to C of x that means revenue function is equal to cost function. These are few definitions and the formulas which we are going to use to solve the problems in linear function. Now, let us move on to a simple problem for one or two marks. Now, first problem a conventional makes and sells chocolates, E sells one box of chocolate at rupees 180. The cost of manufacturing is rupees 60 per box as variable cost of rupees 2000 as fixed cost find the revenue function and the total cost function. What is required to find is the revenue function as well as the total cost function. Now, let us represent the number of boxes of chocolate as x. x represents the number let x be the number of boxes of uh, number of boxes of uh, what is the product given chocolates. So, number of boxes of chocolates be x. Now, first one revenue function. R of x is equal to revenue function is equal to. So, what is the revenue? E sells one box of chocolate at rupees 190. So, 190 x is the revenue function that is it. So, you will sell the chocolate at the rate of 180 per box. So, therefore, the revenue function is R of x is equal to 180. Next, the cost function, second one cost function. C of x is equal to what is the cost function? So, cost function here is nothing but the total cost total cost is equal to total cost is equal to variable cost plus fixed cost that is it. So, total cost is equal to variable cost plus fixed cost. What is this equal to? Variable cost. So, that is the, the cost of manufacturing is 60, 60 x plus then cost is 2000 rupees. So, here the variable cost is 60 x and the fixed cost is 2000. Okay. So, here the revenue function R of x is equal to 180 into x and the cost function is nothing but the total cost is equal to variable cost plus fixed cost. Variable cost is equal to 60 per box means 60 x and uh, rupees 2000 is the fixed cost that is equal to rupees 2000 as the fixed cost. Okay. Now, move on to the next problem. A publishing house finds that the production cost directly attributed to each box is rupees 30 and the fixed cost is rupees 15,000. If each box can sold for rupees 45, then find the cost function and the revenue function. Same type of problem. Okay. Now, same as usual, let us consider x. Here, what is the product books? So, let x be the yes, let x be the number of books. Let x be the number of books. Let x be the number of books. Okay. Now find out the variable cost. 
here the variable cost is equal to variable cost is equal to to yes to each book it is 30 rupees 30x variable cost is 30 fixed cost fixed cost the fixed cost is rupees 15000 that is given variable cost is 30x and the fixed cost is equal to 15000 now what is required to find is then find the cost function and the revenue function if the each books can be sold for rupees 45 okay now find out the total fixed cost now total fixed cost is equal to total fixed cost is equal to total variable cost plus total fixed cost what is total variable cost 30x plus total fixed cost is equal to 15000 so therefore the total fixed cost is 30x plus 15000 which is a linear function okay now find out the revenue function the revenue function the revenue function r of x is equal to what is the revenue here so each book can sold at rupees 45 45 times x that's it so the revenue function is 45x and the total fixed function is 300x plus 15000 this is how we are going to solve this problem now move on to the next similar type problem what is the problem for a manufacturer of dry cell the daily cost of production of x cells is given by x is equal to 2.05x plus 550 the equation is given linear function find the fixed cost and the variable cost here what is required to find is the cost of fixed fixed cost as well as the variable cost is to be determined now what is given given very simple one more question given c of x is equal to 2.05x 2.05x plus 550 what is this that is nothing but total fixed cost total fixed cost is equal to total variable cost plus total fixed cost so what is this equal to so therefore tvc total variable cost is 2.05x and the total fixed cost is equal to 550 so therefore now what is the total fixed cost and the total variable cost so therefore the fixed cost the fixed cost is equal to this is the fixed cost total fixed cost is 550 and the second one the total variable cost the variable cost is nothing but the second part that is 2.05x that's it so this is the total fixed cost this is the variable cost that's it this is how we are going to solve this problem for one or two months let us move on to the next problem the fixed cost the fixed cost and the variable cost x unit of a product of a company are rupees 40,000 and rupees 80,000 respectively if each unit is sold for 250 find the cost function as well as the revenue function so what is the cost function cf and the revenue function c of x and r of x okay now what is given here now let us come to the first one the cost function the cost function c of x is equal to the variable cost of x units of a product of a company are 40,000 so that is nothing but 80x plus 40,000 so this is the cost function the second one what is the second function revenue function r of x is equal to if each unit is sold for rupees 250 that is equal to 250x that's it so the cost function is 80x plus 40,000 and the revenue function r of x is equal to 250x that's it hope you followed now move on to the next problem a pen manufacturer determined that the production cost associated with each pen is rupees 5 and the fixed cost is rupees 7000 if each pen can be sold at rupees 7 find the profit function so profit function is to be determined for the given condition now let r of x is equal to 
revenue function r of x is equal to 7x what is the profit here where it is r of x is equal to 7x for each so a pen manufacturer determined that the production cost associated with each pen suppose if x represents the each pen then the rx the revenue function is it will sold at rupees 7 means 7 times x 7x now c of x is equal to c of x is equal to what is given here the cost is associated with each pen is rupees 5x 5x plus 7000 that's it so r of x is 7x and c of x is equal to 5x plus 7000 now p of x is equal to therefore p of x is equal to r of x minus c of x now what is r of x r of x is equal to 7x minus c of x is 5x plus 7000 simplify this 7x minus 5x minus 7000 7 minus 5 is 2x minus 7000 now conclude this therefore what is p of x p of x is equal to 2x minus 7000 that's it 2x minus 7000 is p of x that is the profit function is p of x is equal to 2x minus 7000 see here here what is given r of x is given and c of x is nothing but 5x plus 7000 so the profit function is nothing but rx minus c of x that is revenue function minus cost function revenue function is 7x and the cost function is 5x plus 7000 7x minus 5x plus 7000 7x minus 5x is 2x minus 7000 so therefore the profit function p of x is equal to 2x minus 7000 this is how we are going to solve this problem for two mos these are all very important and simple problems for one or two mos and few definitions right so move on to the next problem the next problem is now what is the next problem the daily cost production c of x unit of a manufactured product is given by the cost function is given is given by c of x is equal to 3.5 x plus 12,000 if the total cost production is rupees 82,000 find the number of units produced so the number of units produced is to be determined if the total cost production is 82,000 okay so what is given given c of x is equal to 3.x plus 12,000 right now here c of x is given that is 82,000 c of x is equal to 82,000 substitute here 82,000 is equal to 3.5x plus 12,000 simplify this 82,000 minus 12,000 is equal to 3.5 times x so that is 82 minus 12 is nothing but 70,000 70,000 is equal to 3.5x x is equal to 70,000 divided by 3.5 so this will give the answer what is this equal to 70,000 divided by 3.5 is nothing but 20,000 so 20,000 units is the required answer okay so therefore number of units produced is therefore x is equal to 20,000 units the number of units produced is 20,000 units produced see it the daily cost function c of x is given by 3.5 x plus 12,000 and the total cost production is 82,000 then find the number of production that is the number of units of the product x is to be determined if x is the number of product then c of x is equal to 3.5 x plus 12,000 since c of x is given 82,000 is equal to this 82,000 minus 12,000 is 70,000 is equal to 3.5 x or x is equal to 70,000 divided by 3.5 is 20,000. So therefore, x is equal to the number of unit produced is 20,000 units are produced. That's it. Very important problem for two or three marks. These are few problems based on cost function and the fixed function. So that's all regarding today's session. Let us meet with a different concept in the next session. Thank you. Thank you very much.